And number three, we assume that zero straight down, that 90 straight out, that 180 straight up. Math is absolute. It is not open for interpretation. So let's say we go to a class and we receive step-by-step -step instructions. And the instructions tell us to, on this section of hair, cut it at 180 degrees. So we do this. And then it says, over here, cut this section at 45. So we do this. But geometry dictates that the degree of an angle is found by measuring the space between two planes or lines that create the angle. So the definition of angle, the space between two diverging lines or planes or a measure of that space, or a figure formed by two diverging lines with a common point. So to find the degree of an angle, we must have two diverging lines or planes that share a common endpoint. The angle is created with the hair and the plane of the head. So if we look at this angle, it's being created by two lines, which is the hair and the plane of the head, with a common endpoint. And that's where the hair is growing out of the head. And the hair is being projected up, and so this hair right here is being projected at 70 degrees from the plane of the head. So our third shift, hair is not growing out of a wall. So why are we using the floor or the ceiling as our cutting reference? It's growing out of a plane of the head. 